Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find a cycle in a given directed graph. So we will be using depth first search to find whether there is a cycle in the given graph or not. So this video is a part of my playlist of applications of DFS, I will give a link in the description, be sure to check it out. So for the representation we are using adjacency list, for that we have a vector of integer and an array of that. And this is like the maximum size which will have which will have for the nodes. So I have the number of nodes as this and I have the number of edges as this. And for each edge I'm finding out which two nodes are connected. And for example, if I get that one is connected to two, so one in the adjacent list of one, I push back two. So with this now we have represented or we have formed our graph in using adjacency list. Now to find we'll be using a DFS. So basically we'll have a visited array and visited and it'll have the size nodes plus one because we'll be using one base indexing. So the idea is basically that each node will have three states. So three states. So visited will be either zero, meaning that it has not been yet visited. So meaning not visited or visited can be 1 meaning visited or uh, finished visiting finished visiting or visited can be minus 1. So this means that the node is being visited, being visited, node is being visited. So we have three states for each node, either it's zero, meaning that the node is not visited at all yet, it has not been touched. Visited is one, meaning that we're finished with all the nodes of this node. And if visited is minus one, then meaning that we found this node, but it is still being processed. So this node is being visited. So if at any point visited of a node is minus one, and if I find that node again, meaning that we have a cycle. So we'll be using that only. So we'll be doing DFS from each node. So for int i equals zero, I list the nodes. Uh, actually, as I said, one based indexing. So let's just do this. Nodes i plus plus. So if visited, if visited of i, if it is zero. So if not visited of i. Then I do DFS of that node, comma, visited array. I have to send the visited array also. Okay. So before doing anything else, let's just make the DFS function first. So we'll have our void DFS, our node u, let's call it u, and the visited array, which we just sent it. Okay. So as I said, if I find that the node that I have, if it's visited, it's minus one that it is already being visited and I found this again. Then the cycle is there. So we'll have a flag. Let's make it a global variable. We don't need to initialize it. Global variables are already zero. So if visited of you is minus one, meaning that the node we're visiting, it's already being processed. Then flag is equal to one and simply return because we have found a cycle. Otherwise, let's make it visited as minus 1 because now the node is being visited of u is equal to minus 1. Okay. Now, now we go into the adjacency list of u. So for int i is equal to, uh, or let's just use a for each loop for that. So for int x, g of u. Meaning that for each, uh, we can call it v. So meaning that for each v in the adjacency list of uh, u, so all the nodes which are in the adjacency list of u will come once in v. So now v is the neighbor of u. v is in the adjacency list of u. So if visited of v not equal to 1, then we do DFS from that. So DFS of v comma visited. And in the end, if we have processed all the nodes of our U, then we say that it's finished visiting. That we have finished visiting our node. So visited of U is equal to 1. 
and at any point we can say that if flag is equal to one then we can just break out of the loop because we don't want to go forwards we've already found that there's a cycle so we don't need to process any more nodes so let's just say if flag meaning that if flag is equal to one so c out cycle is there and line else i just copy this and we'll put a node there the cycle is not there so first let's try to compile it taking some time okay now let's give some examples so for example say i have uh, five nodes and i have five edges so one to two is connected uh, two to three is connected three to four is connected and four to two is connected and two to five is connected so you can see a cycle is there how cycle is there because you can go from one to two two to three three to four and again you can go from four to two or oh, let's try something else suppose i have five nodes and i have three edges so one to two two to three three to four the cycle is not there because you're just going directly or we can take even simpler simple examples suppose that i have two and i have two nodes and i have two edges so one to two two to one the cycle is there because you can go from one to two two to one so and let's just take one more example for satisfaction so i can take let's say seven and say seven nodes so I have 1 to 2, uh, 2 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 3 to 6, 3 to 5, and we have 2 to 4, we did, 4 to 3, we did, 1 to 3, we did, 3 to 6, and let's just say 1 to 5. The cycle is there. How cycle is there? We have 2 to 4, 4 to 3, and 3 to 2. So you can see that the cycle is there so you can check out so many uh, other examples if you want so what we did basically was have for each node three states zero minus one and one if a node is being visited and if we encounter that node again then obviously there's a cycle which is what we're implementing here so that's it thank you